Hey there, I'm Eddie Field, and in this episode of Field Guided DIY, I'm going to show you the unboxing, setup, and product review of the Ryobi 18-inch gas power two-cycle engine chainsaw. Let's dive in. Comes with a manual, chainsaw wrench, and two-cycle mix. Release the chain brake before starting. Check the chain tension every five minutes. Read the operator's manual. Use 50 to 1 mix with gasoline. Now it includes 50 to 1 oil to the gasoline ratio. However, this is a small engine, and if you go to your local gas station, that fuel is going to have ethanol. I've had numerous small engines repaired. And finally, I said, why do I keep going through these small engines? The repair guy said, do you run regular gasoline? I said, yes, I do the mixture of 50 to 1, 40 to 1, etc. He said, that's the problem. If you go to your local gas station, it's going to have ethanol in it. And that runs hotter, which is okay for cars. But for these small engines like weed eaters, chainsaws, etc., that's going to run hotter and has a tendency to warp the head or even set the cylinder out of round, which is the problem that I had. So he recommended to me use the store-bought 50 to 1 mix. And since then, I've not had to rebuild any of the small engines. 50 to 1 mix is not included. What is included is the oil that you mix with regular gasoline. Also not included is the chain and bar oil. What is included is the chain and spark plug tool. Now this side of the wrench does the bar nut and chain adjustment. We'll be covering proper chain adjustment in a future video. The other side of the wrench is the spark plug removal tool. To access your spark plug, lift up on the air filter cover and there's your spark plug and there's your air filter. The more you keep that free from debris, the happier your chainsaw will be. Steady hand, even with the mosquito biting in your wrist. Wipe off any excess. You can inspect the gasket. Inspect your gasket. Here's your stop button, otherwise known as your kill switch. And that's your primer bulb. Here's your choke. And here's the instructions. Make sure the brake is engaged. Pull the choke back. Pump the bulb 10 times. Pull three to five times. Then push the choke in and then pull one time. There's your throttle. Also has a safety lock that you cannot pull the trigger unless your palm is on the back of the handle. Let's fire it up. This brake might be hard to figure out. You have to pull it all the way back and then you'll see it depress. That's ready to run. And at the end, and that's with the brake applied. Again, we're going to pull back the brake. We're going to pull the choke. We're going to prime the bulb 10 times. We're going to pull the starter three to five times. You heard that one pop where it turned over? That means it's ready. Push in the choke. Stay away from that end. And that's the kill switch. Always turn off the engine before you set it down. Never set down a running chainsaw. To see more Ryobi tools, tips, and suggestions, click the image on your screen now.